Hello viewers, welcome to Inclusivity One channel. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and encourage us. Let's start. The purpose of the video is to get an overview of ADAS system, also known as ADAS system and its necessity. First, what is ADAS? It's Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. It is a set of intelligent electronic systems used in the vehicles to improve the safety and to enhance driving by assisting the drivers in many ways. Why ADAS is necessary? As per WHO 2018 survey, around 1.3 million people died in road accidents and every 23 seconds a person dies in an accident. Most of the accidents occur where there are no strict rules, mostly in Asian and African countries. The main cause for these accidents is none other than human error. To counteract this challenge, the government bodies are encouraging the vehicle manufacturers to come up with built-in solutions inside the vehicles, which will help both people inside the vehicle and outside the vehicle to stay safe in any situation. This is where driver assistance systems came into uh, limelight. The main aim of ADAS is to minimize the human errors. ADAS history goes back to 1960s with invention of systems like anti-lock braking systems or ABS which paved the way for improved safety. Now some of the systems are already part of the vehicle. As per the market survey, 10% of 1 billion cars have ADAS features, which means equal to 100 million cars. Let's go through some of the ADAS systems. ACC, Adaptive Cruise Control. It is an upgraded version of the cruise control. What is cruise control? It's a system which controls the speed of the vehicle. This allows the vehicle to drive at required speed, thereby reducing driver fatigue in highways. In adaptive cruise control, some more features are added. The system uses a camera and a radar sensor at front of the vehicle to keep distance between the vehicle at the front, thereby maintaining speed as well as lowering speed, braking or accelerating with respect to the vehicle at the front. This system is also referred to as the first level of autonomous driving. Of course, the driver has to be alert here because of some of the challenges like bad weather conditions, if something has covered the sensor, cornering, etc. Some of the other names of ACC are Active Cruise Control, Dynamic Cruise Control, Radar Cruise Control, Automatic Cruise Control, Intelligent Cruise Control, etc. Now the second one is BSM, Blind Spot Monitoring. This system mainly alerts the driver about vehicles coming from the rear blind spot areas. Blind spot means the area which are not visible to the driver while driving. Here, the vehicle is equipped with radar sensors or cameras on rear corners of the vehicle which give indication to the driver during lane changing or while taking reverse. Some systems even apply brakes to avoid collision. This system also can't work during bad weather, cornering, etc. Other names of BSM are blind spot detection, blind spot collision avoidance. Next in the list is electronic stability control. This system helps the driver during unforeseen situations by properly braking, steering, and back on track. The system comprises of speed sensor on each wheel, rotation rate sensor along vertical axis, and Sense steering angle sensor on steering column. All these sensors are controlled by the master control unit or we call it as MCU. It all starts when the driver sees an unforeseen event and apply the steering to overcome the object. First, the steering angle sends the signal to MCU. At the same time, the rotation sensor also sends the signal about the understeer or oversteer condition of the vehicle. Now MCU applies the brakes accordingly to overcome any skidding and brings the vehicle under control. Here the most important point to note is the driver's reaction to the situation. If the driver does not respond, the system might not function efficiently. 
we hope you are enjoying the video please hit the subscribe button next in the list is aeb automatic emergency braking this system is used to avoid hazardous frontal collision the system uses the camera and radar sensor in front side of the vehicle similar to acc to detect the distance between the vehicles and apply the brakes when there is an emergency stop required the system on its own can bring the vehicle to stand still within 40 km per hour if the vehicle speed is more than 40 km per hour then driver must apply the brake to completely stop the vehicle the system works during emergency only which is similar to airbags next in the list is ldw lane departure warning this system gives a warning when the vehicle moves away from the lane mostly in highways the system uses a camera on front of the vehicle mainly on windshield which senses the yellow or white markings on the road and the vehicle's position with respect to these markings when the system detects when the vehicle is deviating from the lane it sends visual and audio alert to the driver to correct it this system will only give warning and not control the vehicle the system is not active when the turn signal or indicator signal is on the system may not work where there are no markings on the road or bad weather conditions uv rays effect on the camera etc other names are lane departure alert lane assist lane monitoring system sixth adas system is hill start assist this system applies the brakes of the vehicle for 2 seconds while the vehicle starts moving in an uphill direction this is to prevent the vehicle from rolling backward down a hill when starting again from a stop position this feature is very helpful in hilly regions or where the road gradient is high hdc hill descent control also known as downhill assist this system maintains the predefined speed of the vehicle while moving down the hill by applying the brakes accordingly this helps the driver to concentrate on the steering this system goes off if the accelerator or brake pedal is applied during working this system requires cooling period after certain interval of usage next is the tire pressure monitoring system this is also an alert system which monitors the air pressure of all tires of a vehicle this system uses a pressure sensor fitted between the tire and the rim which senses the tire pressure and sends the info to the mcu which is a master control unit if there is any reduction in pressure a warning is shown on the dashboard indicating the driver to check the tires and correct the air pressure for safe travel when the sensor is malfunctioning then the dashboard continuously shows the symbol indicating to replace the sensor for effective tire pressure monitoring tsr traffic sign recognition also a alert system which gives the info of the traffic signs such as speed limits of the roads no entry zones etc the system uses a camera sensor behind the rear view mirror which senses the traffic signs on the road side and sends it to the mcu which displays the same on the dashboard warning the driver about the limits some cars are equipped with controlling the speed as signaled by the camera since the camera sensor is the prime device system functioning can vary based on weather condition dirt on the camera signboard placing under camera sensing limit etc v to v vehicle to vehicle communication this system is one of the low cost technology which is estimated to reduce the accidents to the next level here the vehicles can communicate with each other using wireless technology which is similar to wifi under 300 meters of communication range system uses a wireless protocol known as direct short range communication also called as dsrc which is combined with gps technology to form the v2v system vehicles equipped with v2v systems can transmit messages related to current gps position vehicle speed acceleration heading transmission and brake status steering wheel angle vehicle's path history and vehicle's path prediction v2v does not include navigation rear view cameras or any advanced technologies this system is still under pilot phase and not fully commercialized by the vehicle manufacturers there are some more adas systems like 
लेन चेंज असिस्ट पेडेस्ट्रीन डिटेक्शन और पेडेस्ट्रीन प्रोटेक्शन रॉन्ग वे ड्राइवर वार्निंग ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल सिस्टम ऑमनी व्यू टेक्नोलॉजी ड्राइवर मॉनिटरिंग ऑटोमोटिव नाइट विजन ऑटोमोटिव हेडअप डिस्प्ले ऑटोमेटिक पार्किंग एडेप्टिव लाइट कंट्रोल ऑटोनमस वैले पार्किंग क्रॉस विंड स्टेबिलाईजेशन दिस्ट गोज ऑन दीज वर सम ऑफ द ए डी ए एस सिस्टम्स विच आर हेल्पिंग इन रेड्यूज द वहीकलर एंड पेडेस्ट्रीन एक्सीडेंट्स रेड्यूजिंग द ड्राइवर फेटिक एंड फाइनली लीडिंग टू अटोनोमस ड्राइविंग होप वी ट्राई टू गिव अर audience and overview of ADAS systems if you liked our efforts then please subscribe to our channel and give it a like and share with your tech community please don't forget to comment on the video for any appreciation or improvement which will guide us to betterment thank you for watching have a happy and safe day take care bye bye